Today, I'm gonna show you how I top DPS for my groups as meta tank and even soloed the stockades dungeon at level 25. Welcome to the Warlock Meta Guide. Talents. You'll be using the same talents as the Affliction spec, except you'll drop the one point in Nightfall and put this point in Suppression. If you do this right, you should have five in Corruption, four in Suppression, two in Life Tap, and five in Imp Train. I'll have a link to this guide in the description below. Runes. Master Channeler on the chest to make your life drains instant. Demonic Grace to empower your Shadow Cleaves and Searing Pains. And of course, Meta. Gear. We're primarily stacking Spell Power because it will enhance your drain life. And you'll be stealing all the damage that you take back to you. Stat priority is Spell Power, Shadow Power, Fire Power, Stamina for Survival, Intellect for Crit. Rotation. For single target, you'll emulate at the start of the pool, then use Corruption and Drain Life. Curse of Agony if you think this mob will live longer than 10 seconds, then Demonic Grace and Searing Pain Spam. Life tap when you need mana. Always maintain 100% uptime on Drain Life and try to tap life before your health bar gets to 100%. Multi-target. Searing Pain each target once, then Life Drain the highest health target. Then Demonic Grace and Shadow Cleave, and continue spamming Searing Pains for threat. If you think the targets will live longer than 10 seconds, you can Corruption each target as well. Always life tap when you need mana, and use Taunt on the first mob you lose aggro on. If you do this right, you should never lose threat and be top damage on most pulls. And while Demon Charge is a cool ability, I don't actually recommend using it. Instead, you should open with an Immolate on single target, or a Searing Pain on multiple targets to establish initial threat lead. Macros and weak auras. For starters, you can macro a pet attack and a start attack into all of your abilities if you don't want to micromanage your pet. For weak auras, I recommend tracking your debuffs on the target and try to maintain 100% uptime on your Curse of Agony and Corruption dots. Add-ons. I highly recommend the Threat Plates or Plater add-on so you can tell if you have aggro on the mobs. Just remember, you'll have to manually tell the add-on that you're a tank as it doesn't currently register Warlocks as tanks. Details is also good because tanking in Classic is traditionally done by doing the most damage, so always try to improve your DPS. Pets. Succubus for damage, Imps for bosses with high armor like Gamura, and Voidwalker Sacrifice if you want more survivability. PvP. I don't actually recommend the meta build for PvP as it currently has no way to gap close in combat. You can get infinitely kited by ranged DPS, especially Hunters. So instead, I would recommend you go with the Haunt or Chaos Bolt build. I'll put a link to this guide in the description below as well. That's all for the Warlock meta guide. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and feel free to ask me any questions on twitch.tv slash I'll see you next time.